A lot of great pictures nominated. The Academy of Canadian Cinema and Television are the people behind the Canadian Screen Awards, and the Academy Chair is also an award-winning filmmaker himself. He's a producer. Please welcome Martin Cates. Hello, young man. Thank you. Hi, Jerry. How are you? Great. Excellent. Thank you. Congratulations on the CSAs. Thank you. You and Jennifer Detman and the whole crew did a wonderful job. We did. I mean, fun. they did. They you did. did. Yeah. You, everyone did. You were a presenter. Uh, you were great. Yeah, I just hung around. You're like, you want to go on stage with Jessica <laughs> Perry? Yeah, it, we're fine with that. Um, no, it was a lot of fun celebrating the film. So it's incredible how it's changed since the first Genies I went to, I think, was a decade ago. And the difference between then and now, the Geminis and Genies together. I mean, just talk about the growth. So we, I came to the uh, Academy about two and a half years ago, and one of the first things we did was to bring the Genies and the Geminis together to do one big award show, which we called the Canadian Screen Awards. Right. And so we are giving away awards to the best in Canadian film, television, and new media, all on one big blockbuster night. So when you first get involved in, in, in the senior position in this organization, you must, as a producer, as a guy who's been working on the outside of it for a while, you must have a lot of ideas of where you need to take it. Well, to be fair, uh, it's not really a senior position. It's, the, it's I was complaining the loudest. Yeah. <laughs> and they no, said, you got such good ideas, you take it. You go do it. So <laughs> you get that spot, though. To be the chair is important. Well, it's it's the I'm the I'm the ult, I'm the head complaints committee you know receiver. I'm the guy that gets. So as, what is as the number one months. complaint you've heard? Well, the number one complaint historically has been that uh, just what what you put your finger on, which is that not enough people know about the academy, not enough people know about the films that we make, not enough people are aware of the films that and television shows that our members make. And so the point was to really make it more relevant to our filmmakers, to our distributors, to our broadcasters, and by the way, to the public at large in Canada. And I think we've really been able to make a huge leap in that direction with this uh, this time that we, you know, the con second Canadian Screen Awards, which right. is actually the 65th time we've given awards right. to our industry in this country. I, I'm always a big proponent of getting people in theaters because I like creating a value around the product, but one of the really interesting things about this on-demand culture and the Netflix and the iTunes culture is they can really benefit Canadian film because you're not going to get like, because theater owners and cineplexes, and that, they're, they're businesses, right? They don't want to bring in films that they're not sure they can generate a lot of sales. Right. But on-demand can really change what you do. Absolutely. So right now, in fact, on-demand right now, The Auction, Gabriel, and Empire of Dirt, three of those films that you showed in the clip, are all available on demand, on video on-demand and on iTunes. Right. So this is a great, you know, opportunity to try and punch through and bring attention to the, to the films that are terrific, that are made here, that are about stories from here, and that are available now. now. How do we get people to know that they're there? You click on iTunes, there's a million things, you have to search for Gabrielle, hopefully they will, yes. and they see it, hopefully they watch The Effort, The Grand Seduction, which is an incredible film, and see, and see where we are with these new generation of filmmakers, but how do you get people to do that, because you're, you're, you're competing against a marketing budget of Lego. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is just different. And it, this is the classic challenge in Canada, and by the way, it's a challenge that filmmakers around the world face, which is, you know, Lego's probably got a marketing budget of $150 million. It's right. the marketing budget of the, which is consistent with the production budgets of every movie that, you know, right. is made in Canada in, a, in, a, in, in two years. Right. So it's uh, nuts to try and compete against that marketing budget. It's one of the reasons we create the Canadian Screen Awards, to try and bring some hype over the course of Canadian Screen Week. You've made films for a long time, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, to talk about how you, how you got into this business, there are people watching, okay, fine, Mr. Cates, I want to make films. What do I do? <laughs> uh, go to law school. Yeah. That's what I did. <laughs> I went to law school. Um, and because, you know, when you think about making movies, you're negotiating all day long. You're negotiating to get people out of their trailers, or you're negotiating to sell rights to your films. You know, you're making a product that you're then selling around the world, country by country, medium by ne medium, language by language. And it's all about, uh, that's all the process of negotiation and contract. So having a background as a lawyer has actually been really helpful. Do, you, do people drop you scripts all the time? All the time. Do you have one? Well, well, no, I, well <laughs> yes, but you have to bid on it. Um, <laughs> no, because we had a guy that found out that you were going to be on the show and actually sent us a video because he, was, he wanted to find out if you read his script. Uh-oh. Take a look at this. I hope so. Hey, Ma, do you remember me? <laughs> I remember we talked about, you know, doing a movie based on my novel. You remember I left you that little package uh, just outside the gas station? <laughs> so I'm waiting for a response, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
So that guy's a stalker. Yeah. There are people in this industry, they just, they find you, they go to parties where you're at, and they're trying to get you scripts. That's the great David Cronenberg that, that right there. David Cronenberg, I recognize you know, him. Behind the fly <laughs> That's right. And you worked, of course, in many films with Cronenberg. We've done four movies together yeah. now. Um, our new one is called uh, oh, Maps to the Stars with Julianne Moore and John Cusack and Mia Wasikowska and the great Sarah Gadden mm -hmm. and Robert Pattinson, the great Robert Pattinson. Good to see you, man. Thanks for Thanks, coming. sir. I Thanks appreciate it. Marty Cates, everybody, the chair of the Academy of Canadian Cinema and Television. We'll be right back. So what we'll do is we're going to